Yo, what's good, YouTube, man? It's Gabriel, the Fan TV, man. Back action of the video. Like the content in this video, go ahead and smash that like button. Like the content this channel, go ahead and subscribe. Also, comment down below your thoughts on the video, man. All right, let's get into it. So, Ravens news for today. The Ravens have officially traded Chuck Clark to the New York Jets for a seventh round pick in next year's draft. Um, So, up top, right? Let's talk about Chuck Clark a little bit. Defensive leader. Um, a guy who you know is going to play every game. Um, doesn't get injured, really. Uh, smart, physical, tough player. Uh, can cover tight ends, okay. Uh, but his best work is done near the line of scrimmage. And for the Ravens for these last couple years, he's been um, he's been a good player. I think in 2021, when it was him and Deshaun Elliott, he was asked to, to, to do too much away from the line of scrimmage. But last year, he kind of got back to that route, being near the line, and he was really good last year, honestly. Um, now... I'm a little surprised by the compensation for it. I'm not going to lie to you. Seventh round pick in next year's draft is a little surprising. Uh, you know, I think he's worth at least a fourth or a fifth round pick. But this is what I got to say to that. The Jets GM did a good job. You know, he knew that the Ravens needed to be cap compliant. He knew that the Ravens were probably looking to offload Chuck Clark. You know, it's, that's been no secret. I mean, Chuck Clark asked for a trade last offseason after, after Kyle Hamilton was drafted. So they were able to strike a deal, you know. Uh, for the Ravens view... This deal gets the Ravens to above. First, when they signed Lamar Jackson to non-exclusive tag, they were in the negative. Now with this deal, um, I believe this creates about four million dollars in cap space for the Ravens. So, it's a it's a move that was needed. It was a move that makes sense for both sides. And um, if we're being honest, the Jets have been kind of stacking up uh, Ravens players over the last couple years uh, with Joe with Joe Douglas in charge. No surprise, uh, Joe Douglas was a Ravens scout for. From 2000 to 2014, so he was using the Ravens organization for quite a long time. Um, so listen, this move makes sense for both teams. All right, the Ravens have um, Marcus Williams now at free safety, so they're good there. And then obviously they drafted Kyle Hamilton. Kyle Hamilton played a major role last year um, in the slot, mostly when he really found his his form and his footing. He can go back and play strong now, or the Ravens can bring back a guy like Geno Stone, you know, and um, have and have that happen with it. Uh, but for the Jets, I like this move a lot for the Jets. I really do. Because they already have a really good defense. Now you throw another player in there who is solid, going to do his job and not really make any mistakes. The Jets don't need Chuck Clark to be a star. They just need him to be a solid guy who's going to do his role and contribute when, it, when called upon. And Chuck Clark can do that very, very well. So it makes sense for both teams. Um, only thing that's a problem, like I said, about the deal is that it's a seventh round pick in next year's draft. Uh, I can't complain about it because teams knew that either Chuck Clark was going to be traded or released. So the Ravens didn't hold much leverage in any trade negotiation kind of scenario. So I guess, you know, Eric DeCosta loves his draft pick. So he said, look, I figured I'll just get something for Chuck Clark. It's better than getting nothing and just cutting the guy. I get that. So, you know, um, but the move is officially not, it's not official, excuse me, until next week. March 15th, which is the official start of the new league year. So that's when Chuck Clark will officially be a New York Jet. And, um, you know, we're we going to miss him in Baltimore. I really do think that the Ravens are going to miss him. But uh, I think it's more about his leadership style. So if the Ravens can have somebody who can replace that leadership and really be a, a you know, a, a, a good guy in the locker room, then they'll be okay. Uh, that's why they got a guy like Roquan Smith who can have that. Um, so, all in all, it's a good move for both sides. I'm, I'm not mad at it. Uh, I like the move, actually, you know. Uh, Chuck Clark, he deserved to go play a place where he probably can get some more reps as a starter. I mean, coming back here next year, it's likely that his role was going to get cut down a little bit. Um, and that's just how the league works, you know. So, uh, I like Chuck Clark. I think he's a good player. He'll be a good player for the New York Jets. Um, he's going to make some plays that win you a game. And uh, more, more importantly, he's not going to do too much to lose you a football game. So uh, it's a good move for the New York Jets. Uh, for the Ravens, this means Kyle Hamilton steps up. This means that, you know, this is not going to be the last move that we see pretty much is what I'm saying. All right. You know, they got to restructure some contracts, things like that, just to make the cap space even more so that they can, they can attack free agency and do what they want to do in free agency. Uh, but as far as a purely football move, um, the Ravens have players, if they bring back a Geno Stone, that they can replace Chuck Clark with, and they'll be okay. But um, 
the biggest thing too, obviously, with Chuck Clark is that he called a lot of the defense. So he was the green dot. He, he was the green dot on defense. Now, um, I think that'll just go smooth transition right to Roquan Smith, and I don't think there'll be much drop off in that department. Um, I think the Ravens are like the only fan base that really cares that much about who wears the green dot as much as uh, we talk about it. Um, but Roquan Smith will take that over, no problem. Easy, easy money right there. Uh, but for the Ravens, this was a move that had to happen. It was necessary, all right? You had to find pieces on the roster that that you could move on from the create cast space, you know? And Chuck Clark was one of those things at the top of the list, you know? Um, like I said, last offseason when he requested a trade and the Ravens didn't grant it, um, it felt like this was always going to come to this kind of scenario of him not being on the team next year. But it's no hard feelings, man. Like I said, Chuck Clark is a – he's a Raven for real, you know, tough, physical, smart player. And um, – even when he requested that trade and they didn't grant it, he showed up every day at training camp, never held out, never complained, nothing. He was ultimate pro. He's a pro's pro, as they say. He's that kind of cliche. And uh, so, yeah, all respect to Chuck Clark. Good move by the Ravens. Very good move by the New York Jets. A good defense just got even better uh, with him uh, on there. So, you know, they, the Jets are scary, man. Uh, they're rumored and linked to Aaron Rodgers. Um, that, that move could be coming soon. So the Jets get Aaron Rodgers, hey man, that's a that's a tough and formidable team in the AFC. Uh, that's that's being born right there. So, um, it's a good start to the offseason for the Ravens. Good start to the offseason for the Jets. And uh, yeah, when more moves happen, uh, definitely come back check out the channel. You know, we'll talk about it here. All right, but but yeah, we can write the video up here, man. The Ravens and move on from Chuck Clark. It's a good move for both sides. Uh, Jets fans will be happy with it. Uh, Ravens fans will know that you know Kyle Hamilton is here, and that's okay. Um, they can have some moves that they can make that will, you know, solidify that back end of the defense and they'll be okay. But just off to the offseason, like I said previously. All right, man. But I'm going to get out of here. Uh, it's Gabriel, just on the Fan TV. I'm out.